Hi there, everyone. How you doing? Jeff C. It's Halloween. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. Yes, it's October 31st, 2014. And um, hey, maybe you could dress up in neon green. Maybe that would be a good uh, color. <laughs> I bet that is the most popular costume is probably people in hazmat suits. I don't know how many people are going to turn up in neon green shirts, but that would be a good good choice especially if you're black because they really love to put the black people in the, in the uh, neon green shirts they love to put the white people in the neon green they love to have towers in the background and both republicans and democrats giggling like little schoolgirls coming on to fox news and stuff like that doesn't matter it's everywhere folks you'll see it everywhere even the info horrors are starting to take note of the green right it only took them a few months to get around but they're too busy making money off the impending pandemic that's going to come and get you and you better buy that tangy tangerine and that pro pure and male vitality and everything else because uh, otherwise you're going to die <laughs> your whole family's going to die so um we don't do this here at free radio revolution we call out hoaxes and false flags and um i've been calling this thing for months as a giant psyop, a giant hoax, especially what's happening in North America and Europe. I think that's all staged 100%. I think there's ample proof, even beyond all the green that they're using to program you with, which is just so bloody obvious by now. Um, nonetheless, though, there's a video that I've come across here, which I want to watch with you, share it with you. This is an, actually an older video. It's from uh, September the 2nd, and this is off the Euro News. Now, um, Marcel Aguilar uh, Garcia sent me this, so thank you very much, friend. Always appreciate. Um, those of you who are waiting for me to get back to you in messages, have some patience. I have a huge backload of messages that I haven't got around to uh, addressing yet, but I'll, I'll try to get to each and every one of you. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's take a look at this. This is the video. It's called Video Ebola Patient Escapes Quarantine Spreads Panic in Monrovia. And I really want you to take a good look at this because I think they're really pulling a huge psyop on the uh, Liberians as well. Um, and I wouldn't trust that government <laughs> as far as you could throw it. I mean, they are so corrupt in places like Liberia. And I think the people know that. And they sure as hell don't trust the Red Cross, Doctors Without Borders, or UNICEF, or any of these United Nations uh, creepy organizations coming into their towns. Now we're going to see probably some familiar figures in this video, so I want you to go with it with me and see what we can see. I'm sure you'll see a lot of black guys in green shirts as well, but uh, this is the supposed Ebola victim who has left quarantine because he is starving. There's no food in the quarantine, right? So he's gone to the market to get himself something to eat and he's got a big stick to protect himself and all these people are have been revved up obviously by the authorities that this guy is dangerous and he's wearing a red shirt at least he's not wearing the green shirt but uh, you'll see green shirts so you see he's got like a bag of food and i think he's got a rock in one hand right always have green shirt guys in the forefront or in the background and then here comes you're right i think this is doctors without borders and their creepy gear here i mean these guys show up in your town <laughs> i don't think you'd be too happy either you notice how a huge crowd is now gathered in the background now it's not easy. I mean, it's not difficult, I imagine, to get these people to all of a sudden, you know, partake in something like this, whether it be knowingly or unknowingly. I think it's unknowingly. I think they're just coming along because there's a bunch of guys in these hazmat suits and cameras and everything else. And uh, they're like, what's the big deal? What's really going on? So this is the guy here who's supposed to have um, Ebola. He doesn't look it. When you see him up close, you'll see he doesn't look like he's sick. And you see the people running here, right, coming alongside, green shirt. They don't really seem too worried about this guy. I think they're just kind of having fun with the whole spectacle. He's threatening to throw a rock at them. Probably just wants to eat his meal. And you'd have to think that a lot of these people that they picked up, I mean, we have the stories, the confirmation of um, formaldehyde being released into water wells and stuff like that. People uh, getting formaldehyde poisoning 
dying. I mean, it's the almost identical uh, symptoms as um, Ebola. So they, a lot of these people probably think that they've got Ebola, and then they get into the hospital and they're not being fed, and it, it, the conditions are awful, and they're probably just, I want to get the hell out of here, right? I don't think I'm that sick, and uh, let's see what happens here. There's the green shirt, of course. Ah, does this guy look familiar? I think he does. And you notice the black uh, sunglasses here. This is a, a, a government, maybe a sort of um, secret police or something like that. Doesn't look like an ordinary police, this guy. He actually looks kind of intimidating, right? He's tall, uh, wearing the beret. I'm not sure. He's got the Liberian flag on one side. And you can see this is guy is Doctors Without Borders. Uh, maybe I can get that to freeze just there so I can see who that guy is right there. I can't really make it out, but you can see the Liberian flag here, the sunglasses, the beret. This is a special forces guy, no doubt, for Liberia. And that would leave uh, even more credence to this being a, a, a PSYOP here. Okay, you see, they now they've got the guy that supposedly has Ebola. They've got a guy in a green shirt up here, make sure he's in the camera. And they got a guy standing just a, not even a foot away, it looks like, from this guy. Not the least bit worried. Probably one of his buddies, right? And uh, watch. So they're trying to convince him to come back. And you can see, this guy doesn't look very sick. Right? I'm not saying he doesn't have Ebola. I don't think he does. That's my opinion. You, know, you can make your own. But he doesn't look deathly ill in any way, shape, or form. And he's probably like, why the hell am I in here? Oh, of course, he could be just part of this whole PSYOP. They show a lot of green, of course. Now this guy here, you've seen him before, in fact, uh, yeah, in this uh, super viral video here that I put up uh, with the New York Times, this is the guy that they interviewed. He's Stefan Lijajurgen, whatever his name is, right? And he's Doctors Without Borders. So he took part in this giant psyop. This is 100% a hoax, folks. This guy here, if this guy is sick, <laughs> I'm Seth MacFarlane. I said it before. I mean, give me a freaking break. And if you see the video, of course, you see him bouncing right up and looking perfectly normal and another moment sitting down and looking perfectly fine then of course moaning oh, oh I'm so sick and then of course you see his father walk away in the end with the handful of cash here and there's no mistake in it right this is just it that's what it is so this guy again in this video Yeah, and you see he's right up close, too, to the guy that apparently has Ebola, trying to convince him. Uh, Médecins sans frontières, right? Doctors without borders. I wouldn't trust these guys at all. I mean, you see they grab him now, it seems, by force. And they're going to try and put him in the back of the pickup truck, which is green, of course. <laughs> right? And they're spraying him the whole time they're doing it. And what the hell? Is that Roundup? Are you... Oh, I don't think it's Roundup. Could it be? <laughs> it looks like it could be Roundup. Of course, Roundup is the famous um, uh, herbal, her, herbicide, right, for Monsanto. The gen genetically modified herbicide that uh, is so wickedly evil and used throughout the world. I don't know if it's Roundup, but it looks a bit like it. It's got the round circle. Somebody fill me in on this. What would they be spraying? Right? I know they're trying to decontaminate or whatever, but this is this strikes me as a giant whole hoax farce. Put him in, spraying him while they're putting him in, tossing him in the back, and then watch these guys all pile in. Right? Is that what we're looking forward to in the United States and Canada and the rest of the world? These guys showing up in your town, throwing you in the back of a UNICEF truck? <laughs> I don't know, folks. And people, there's jeers and cheers. I think there's a lot more jeers and cheers. In fact, you'll see the crowd of people kind of come in and try to attack the truck in the end there. So 
See how they're running in and they have to hightail out of there? And you got these guys going around spraying things like that's going to do any good? I mean, how stupid is that? What are they doing? <laughs> it's just unbelievable. Right? So there you go. Um, I think it's just another hoax psyop here. Now, I don't know if this guy is, you know, it strikes me as this guy here has been taken against his will, and he's just like, fuck this shit. But he could be a crisis actor playing out the role in order to convince the Liberians that Ebola's real and that if you don't do as they tell you, they're going to come and grab you, right? Right in the front of a huge crowd. Um, surprised I didn't see this earlier. I mean, there's so many different things out there going on. You're always going to see the guys in the green shirts everywhere, though. I mean, that's a, that's a given, right? Um, but I found this very interesting. I think the the uh, person that gave me the link for this, um, I'd like to know what your guys' opinions are on this uh, particular episode here. Uh, if you see anything else, uh, let it me know in the comments below. I will post the full link for this video uh, below. And thank you so much for listening. Have a happy Halloween. Hey, don't forget to dress up in a hazmat suit. Ha <laughs> ha.